All right, let's get back to it. I'm actually going to bring this down. I'm actually going to bring it up from the room width. So I need to actually the room height. I want it higher than that. I'm actually just going to say I want it room height divided by four. I'll put it closer to the top. And I want to test that. I don't want to wait around. it. So I'm going to change our lives down to one. We can see this pretty easily. There we go. And yep. Boom. That's a good spot for it. That looks good. Looks good. Oh. What else can we do from that? See. We could add more. We could add like a press any key to continue. Yeah, let's do that. I almost said draw set H. All right. Good. I don't think that actually the line I ever said last. So draw text. Width divided by actually no we can't do that. And it's gonna be half of the height, which is ten twenty four, so actually we want it just a little under where player is. So we're gonna have to start where the game over screen is, so we're just gonna have to guess. I'm gonna start at three hundred, move up or down from there. Make it four hundred. We're gonna say Press key. And draw events actually happen like a step event. So we're going to say if since if not, eh, let's we'll just our game over. So Bye. that in there. Let's see how this looks. And we'll know if we need to go up or down from there. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad. Actually, the text makes the word game over look pretty rough. We can bring it up a little bit. We will say 25. There we go. Let's try this, shall we? Sorry, I was making my own little music. We'll add music later. That's much better. And we're gonna do something else from there, which is kinda neat. Go into Go into stats. See. Start. We're gonna start a couple of like a bunch of global variables. Get a couple of lines here. We might not use them. Hold Alt and drag down. Global dot. This first one we're gonna do. Dots underscore. Next one we're gonna do. Enemies. I'm going to say shots fired, shots hit, shots missed. I'm going to say enemies created, destroyed, missed. All of these are going to... There we go. And actually kind of like having everything lined up like that. It's kind of nice. So that we're able to see everything kind of in a... Yeah, that's kind of nice, actually. It's a little weird not having it all like right next to the thing, but it makes it so you can see everything lined up pretty easily. Now we need to go back and start some things. When we are when we create a bullet, any bullet, we're going to say global 
dot shots fired plus equals one. If it goes outside of room, we're going to say global dot shots missed plus equal one. If it collides with an enemy, we're going to say global dot shots hit plus equals one. Let's open up the enemy. Okay. Create. It's going to be global dot enemies created plus equal one. Global dot enemies missed plus equals one in the uh, if if it gets to the left side of the room. If it goes off the left side of the room, we're going to consider it missed. Then destroyed. It's going to be global dot enemies destroyed. Okay. So now we have stats for our game. We want to see those stats when we die, right? We want to see how well we did. So we might say of text. Let's just go ahead and knock all that out. Copy all these. Copy. Roll C. Going to O game over. Text. Uh. I'm doing this in a very strange roundabout way. Possibly a very poorly done way. Now we need to fill out the X and Y, so we're going to say, um... Not quite the center of the room, but let's just go a little bit left of that. Let's say 720... No, I've done that thing with the insert. But I don't have an insert key on my keyboard. Oh, what a nightmare. Okay. We're just going to have to do all this the long way because I'm an idiot. 7, 720. Uh, height is going to be different for each of these, so we can get rid of that whole thing. That one's at 325. Let's start a little below that. God, my keyboard's acting strange. I apologize. Enemies, uh, shots fired. Plus string. Global dot shots fired. And our, our font is 24 pixels tall. So we need to make sure that we're working with enough room if I did 374 it would be the the top of this line would be right at the bottom of that one so you want a little more room and if you don't want to do math that's fine you can say a plus say 28 pixels from dots it plus ring global dot shots it Well, we're going to have to do some math anyway. 350 plus 20 is 378. We're just going to leave that one as is because my computer, my keyboard's acting very strangely and we need to figure out why it's doing that. It drives me crazy. I can't stand when it deletes the thing in front of it. So, uh, let's see. Bring a little calculator. Plus 28 is obviously 378. 8 is 406. Missed. 
screen. And that's there. Oh, yeah. Don't know why it's now. I'll figure it out and I'll get it fixed before the next lesson because it's driving me crazy. I apologize. Bring out 406. 434. Enemies gated. Hold down. Enemies gated. Four six. Void. String. Mobile dot enemies. Destroyed. Last one. Four eighty. Right. Let me double check that. I'm terrible at math, but four ninety. Missed. Okay, so this will kind of give you a rundown of how you did in your game. So let's give it a test. Let's see how this looks. Make sure we both you guys. Okay, okay, now let's. Still counting how many enemies missed and stuff, so we need to find a way to stop that before. So we'll we'll make these counters based on whether or not the character the the player is alive or not. That's it. I forgot to put a couple of things in. So easy enough missile. We forgot to create. No, it does add shots fired from. Writing it. Yeah, okay, so global dot fired plus equal one. Make sure that's oh, okay. Global fired plus equal. Ah. I did buy a new keyboard a couple months back, and it's got round keys, and I love it. I love the way they feel. It's a wonderful keyboard, but round keys kind of throw me off, and that's my excuse for not being able to type at all. Uh, same thing we need to do up here. So, God, uh, yeah, global dot shot one. We're not gonna do the. Um, shots. Actually, you know what? We'll create a variable. We need to do this for this one. We're going to create a variable called hit enemy equals false. When we hit the enemy, it's going to enemy equals true. If it goes outside of the room, Copy this, we're going to override it. We are going to destroy either way, but we're only going to say shots missed is if hit enemy equal to false. That means it never hit anything, so when it goes off the screen, it is true. You did actually miss a shot. And we're also going to... Shots hit only counts if you actually hit the enemy. Ok, 
is outside a room. Google dodge hit plus equal. That way, if hit enemy equals false, it'll say you missed it when it went outside the room, and it'll calculate if you hit the enemy after it goes outside of the room if this is true. Otherwise, it would count it for each enemy it hit, and that would throw off your number. So you could hit like one shot fired, but it hit 10 enemies. That's true, but really, you just want like a binary yes or no as to whether or not it hit, unless you want to make that a bonus or something. But let's go missile outside a room. Google dot dots missed plus equal one. Playing with the enemy. Google dot shots hit. Okay, cool. Try this again, huh? Try it again. We know for a fact we've missed a couple. Hit at least two. We've hit like at least three things. One, two. Okay, now that's gonna throw our numbers way out of whack. Go ahead and finish this. Uh, boom. The shots fired 78, 18 hit. That is because of the spread. The spread really long, like messes up that number. Shots at 18, shots miss 60, and of course that adds up. Uh, 60 plus 18 is 78, so that math adds up, right? That's how many enemies were created. We destroyed nine of them. We're losing more and more. So let's align that stuff to the left. So that all the, the letters of the first letter of each sentence end up properly. Getting some bad slowdown too. I'm not sure why. We'll have to optimize that. What we'll do is an O spawner. All of these will be contingent on if instance exists O player. to a lot if for instance you just want to make sure that you're not creating something every step and let's go into game over that is raw Left. We're going to bring this up just a little bit. So, try that again. Let's make sure this looks good. Okay. So it's not creating any more enemies. It's not going to create any power-ups. It's all going to go away. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We could actually move this over to the right a little bit. That's not half bad, huh? I mean, starting to you got stats and scores and stuff, and you can like we'll have like the actually I should add the final score right there, and then maybe the high score. We'll do that soon. And actually, let's go into the enemy, and we're only going to add to the global events, like the global stats, if the player exists. Otherwise, it's not fair when they die to say like, oh yeah, they missed those enemies. Well, yeah, of course they did. They were dead, so. Since this player we'll just copy that because we're going to 
Actually. Bracket. Actually, we won't count that against him because if there's like a stray bullet that goes out and it happens to hit an enemy after the enemy's after the player's died, it's fine, just let him have it. This player. There we go. Alright, one more time. We're only going to do the homies, so one, three, four, five. We shot six bullets, we killed five bad guys. Boom. There we go. All right, yeah. Shot five bullets, killed four guys, missed one, created 11, destroyed four, missed zero. That's unusual. I guess we died before... Uh, yeah, so. Alright, well, there's that. We'll pick it back up in the next one. Thanks. Bye.